the number one worst football accessory was invented in 2020 and that is the What's up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Clark Hazlitt, better known as Adventure Athlete, and yeah. also known as Clark Country. Yeah. Welcome back to another video. Today, y'all are gonna get a chance to hear about the top 10 worst football accessories football players do not need. Let me tell you, there's gonna be a lot of items on this list that you guys might not agree with. So it might get a little controversial. Cause let me tell you, from 2019, to 2020, there are some new football gear accessories. They gotta go, gotta, gotta go. Before we get into the video, I wanna thank y'all so much for participating in the football gear bag giveaway. I would like to do another giveaway. So let me know if y'all want me to do a football shoulder pad giveaway or a football helmet giveaway in the next video. Now enough with the updates, let's get into the top 10 worst football accessories football players do not need. Starting with number one. Fellas, the number one worst football accessory was invented in 2020, and that is the coronavirus face guard. My goodness gracious. I can't breathe out of this thing. Yes, sir. I never got the chance to actually try out one of these face guards, but I can't imagine playing in Brazil or in Mexico or for any of the boys playing down south where you're playing in like 100% humidity and 110 degree weather, your whole face shield's gonna be completely fogged up. And if you're wearing a visor on top of it, I understand concerns with the coronavirus, but come on y'all. Unless we're wearing full on gladiator face shield helmets now instead of just a traditional face mask, that might be an opportunity. But this Corona face guard, it's gotta go. All right, y'all, so the next accessory that's gotta go, just gotta go, is the Ninja Headband. Now, y'all have seen pretty much everybody in every single league, whether it's college, high school, football, NFL, wears headbands under their helmets. I do as well because I don't want the sweat dripping down into my eyes during the game, right? But the dudes that be rocking the headband that you tie in the back that's got this Ninja ponytail thing that's flinging around, that thing's gotta go. Come on, y'all. We're playing football. We're not playing Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> there is one other headband accessory look that hasn't been brought back for a while, and that is the headband around the neck. What is this, shot collar? What is this choker trend that these girls from TikTok used to do? I never, ever, ever want to see y'all rocking a headband choker. Do me a favor and subscribe to my second channel for more behind the scenes content. Much love, y'all. Yeah. This next football accessory, you guys will agree with me, has got to go, and that is a cup and a jog strap. Put these two together, and oh my gosh, you have a disaster, fellas. Both of these accessories are so far outdated. I don't know really anyone who rocks a cup anymore. If y'all rock a cup, I respect it. I really hope you're not wearing this jock strap and you have these compression shorts on. Fellas, let me tell you. Y'all know the jock strap does probably remind you of some underwear that you probably see in your mom's. I can't say that. The jock strap reminds you of something like this. Jock strap, gotta go. Cup, if you rock it, I respect it. This next accessory, y'all, I canceled last year completely. Now, I've changed my mind. If you're a linebacker or a fullback, you are the only players that are allowed to rock a neck roll or a cowboy collar. And you gotta be big and buff. If you're not looking like Tim Riggins rocking a cowboy collar or a neck roll, it's gotta go. I am curious, leave a comment down below if you rock a cowboy collar or a neck roll. And if I ever see a quarterback rocking a neck roll or a cowboy collar, I'm coming to your game, going out on the field and taking that thing off of your football pad. And I'm serious. This next accessory, y'all, oh my goodness. Ugly face mask. Every position has that one player on the team that rocks a ridiculously ugly looking face mask. And now I'm sorry, if you're issued a crossbar face mask or a face mask that just does not fit your position, I feel for you. I know what that's like. But I'm gonna tell y'all right now, if you guys are rocking a crossbar face mask and you're not in alignment, you gotta get a new face mask. I should definitely be doing a face mask giveaway as well. We'll get back to that. Alignment, I get it. The crossbar face mask is kind of making a comeback and I respect that, but you better be rocking a vibe with that crossbar face mask. The big old gladiator face mask, it's gotta go. Come on, we're football players, not gladiators, fighting in the 1800s. This next football accessory called the gridiron glove, I really need your guys' thoughts on it. 
I may or may not know who invented this product and the sole purpose for the gridiron glove is to allow consumers to catch a football with little to no effort. As you guys can see here in some of the clips, do you think you'd ever use the gridiron glove? I don't know. I need your thoughts. I know if I was using the gridiron glove, I'd probably play catch with my mom and dad. And it'd be really cool to get the chance to play catch with them. But you're never going to see this thing in an actual game. You'll definitely see it in practice. So, I don't know. Does the gridiron glove gotta go or stay? Let me know your guys' thoughts. My favorite thing about the gridiron glove is even today while I'm still playing football, I can play catch with my dad and he experiences no pain or discomfort while catching my throws at a high velocity. Fun fact, y'all, I did invent the gridiron glove and uh, it is not one of the worst accessories. It probably has to be one of the coolest accessories. It's just not out on the market yet. Because of the virus, I'm not able to manufacture the glove, so make sure y'all stay tuned. Up next, we've got trash chin straps. Now I know some of the goats like Rodgers and Brady still rock the underwear chin strap, but come on brothers, if this is ever on a football helmet, you already know that if that player ever gets hit, their helmet is getting popped off with no problem. I get it, these pro QBs rock the G-string chin strap, probably because they're not hit that much in game. If you guys are ever in high school and you're getting issued one of these chin straps, call me and I'm sending you a sports star chin strap, no questions asked. The next football accessory slash trend that I hope is never gonna come back in football history is the knuckles tape look. Boys, you never want to be looking like a mummy out on the field. I actually don't really get why most y'all tape your knuckles sometimes. Unless you break both your hands like Clay Matthews, then yeah, go ahead and rock some clubs. But the tape knuckles look is not a look. And with that, if you're ever rocking forearm pads, come on boys, that's gotta go nonetheless. We do not want to see boys out on the field looking like they're all in bubble wrap. Up next, we've got long sleeve football jersey. Fellas, I really, really hope this is not a trend anymore. We got our boy Peyton Manning, as y'all can see. It's just not a good look. I get it. I'm not trying to focus on looks. I'm trying to focus on overall efficiency when you're out on the field. Look at J.J. Watt. Looks like a stud. If J.J. Watt was on offense, he'd be pretty dang hard to tackle. Peyton Manning, he's on offense. All you got to do is grab on one of them sleeves and yank him down, just like Troy Palomaro's hair. That's pretty much what the sleeves are just like. Any dude who's got long hair or any dude that has a long sleeve jersey, it's just that much easier to get tackled and you look like you played football back in the 80s. Along with the long sleeve jerseys, boys, I don't wanna see y'all wearing long sleeve cold gear. Boys, I need to see more of y'all rocking guns out during games. None of these long sleeve Under Armour stuff, even if it gets cold in the game, you need to rock the guns out, just like your O-linemen, boys, and it shows that you're tough. I made the mistake and wore long sleeve cold gear all the time in high school. Now, I'm never ever rocking long sleeves. Always trying to get guns out, and if y'all don't got guns, you better hit the weight room. Long sleeve jersey and cold gear long sleeve, gotta go. The last accessory that's gotta go, fellas, is rubber footballs. I still can't believe these are still so popular in today's day and age. And I wish they would offer leather footballs just like one here for a reasonable price. But boys, if y'all do play with a rubber football, I do respect them because I know playing in France and Brazil, I played with a rubber football and I actually enjoy playing with a rubber football. But there is just something about a leather football that you cannot beat. So I may or may also be doing a leather football giveaway here in the near future, boys. So make sure y'all stay tuned for that. With that, that is gonna conclude this video. Thank y'all so much for showing love and support. I've got four giveaways I wanna be doing for y'all in the next couple of videos. Helmet, shoulder pad, leather football, and face mask giveaway. So y'all make sure you stay tuned for that. Thank y'all so much for showing love and support. If you made it this far in the video, do me a favor and leave a comment down below. Hashtag Clark Country. And with that, I'll be seeing y'all in another video coming real soon. Yeah.